There are two things that people love. In fact, they crave. Getting away from it all at a great destination and being there with friends and family. This is the story of a multi-generational family from Indiana who's been driving down to the heart of the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee for generations. The grandparents first came here on their honeymoon 50 years ago. But year after year, they've continued to trek back down here to Sevier County, Tennessee, to the towns of Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Sevierville, places they'd never heard of growing up in Indiana. This is also a Cinderella story about how a remote mountain region has become home to the most visited national park in the country, where you can hear banjo picking and play with penguins on the same day go tubing on a lazy river, or splash the daylights out of yourself on a giant water slide. It's about an all-American family who has learned the secret to recharging their batteries with a Smoky Mountain accent while they're getting away together. Getting away together is made possible by TripAdvisor.com. 50 million reviews and opinions from real travelers. They treated me like a rock star. Even the concierge knew me by name. We could kayak right from our own private dock. It felt like we had the whole island to ourselves. I could almost reach out my window and touch the Eiffel Tower. What an amazing vacation. We can't wait to go back. Fantastic. Millions of reviews of hotels, vacation rentals, and more. All from real people who've been where you want to go. TripAdvisor.com. You've planned your trip for a long time. Wouldn't it be nice to know someone is helping you make it safe and relaxing? For more than 20 years, CSA Travel Protection has been making travel convenient with friendly, expert service, giving you security that your travel investment is safe, whatever happens, and the assistance you need from travel delays to emergency care. Before, during, and after your trip, we're CSA Travel Protection. It's about time to experience the beauty, the history, the adventure, the shopping, and the entertainment. Every season entirely new. It's about Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, and Gatlinburg in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. It's more than just a family vacation. It's time to come experience the Smokies. If someone asked you, what's the most visited national park in the United States? What would you answer? Yellowstone? Glacier? How about Yosemite? Well, it might surprise you that the answer is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. Probably the reason is that it's the park closer to where most of the people in the country live. Around 12 million of those park visitors every year come here to East Tennessee, to the towns of Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Sevierville, and also to the world-famous theme park, Dollywood. 49 years ago, a couple from Indiana came here for their honeymoon. And Dave and Peggy Colgan haven't skipped a year since. I came here when I was a little girl. My folks brought me here because they love this place. My dad's always loved the mountains. I just wanted Dave to see it so bad. My family did not go on vacation much. Her family did. And I thought that was great. So I said, when we talked about our honeymoon, I said, I want to go to the Smokies. I want you to experience the Smokies with me. He fell in love with the mountains just like I did. We kind of shoestringed it on several trips, but through the years, We've had a variety of experiences. Through those years, the Colgans have added three children, Mark, Darren, and Amy. When Mark married Kathy, they came here too. Darren brought his wife, Jennifer, and now all five grandchildren, Katie, David, Maggie, Mary, and Molly, all love coming back here to the Smokies. My dad was a pastor growing up, and so he had to be gone a lot. And so one thing about vacation is that we knew we would have him for two weeks to ourselves, and my mom too. But he always made sure that we knew that those two weeks were sacred to him. Even if we didn't have the money, we were going to go. When Peggy and I were married, we decided that vacations were absolutely essential. What's been great about this week is that they've all been here with us. And so they all have this shared experience. 
We have 11 miles. I'm going to set the trip to zero so we'll know when we've gone. About seven hours and 400 miles from their homes in Indiana, the Colgan Car Caravan winds its way to the home their families have rented in Pigeon Forge. Molly, look at the horsey. Horsey? Look. Over the years, we've stayed a lot of different places in this area. But as we uh, drove up the hill, we said, is that the one? No, I think it's supposed to be four floors. Is that the one? No, no, it's still going. Keep going up the hill a little further, a little further. And sure enough, all of a sudden, we turned the corner to, to where we are. We look up, and we kept looking up and kept looking up. And saw this four-story behemoth of a cabin. We were all just, we couldn't wait to get in. Normally, when we arrive at a place, we go in slowly, but we ran in. I mean, there was an excitement and enthusiasm, and they couldn't wait. And normally, I'm the first one to go in. I usually open the door. I didn't get a chance. Oh, Mary and Maggie, look! Hey. Hey. Cabin doesn't quite do it justice. It says it's a cabin. Uh, it's much more than a cabin, believe me. I don't call it a cabin. I call it a mansion. Everybody was crazy. Wow, I mean, I was like a little school kid. See this beautiful place, and my family's going to stay here all week. It was just wonderful. Well, I know one thing. This is our room. Yes, yes, yes. You tell the kids. I, whoa. I think I jumped up and down, which I've been teased a little bit about, but it was a lot of fun. It's amazing. The funny part was there's so many floors that. We kind of all got lost on different floors as we were going up. <laughs> we all ended up back up together on the fourth floor, and we looked out. Oh. This place is special for so many reasons. Number one is the incredible view. I don't believe there's a better view in all of the Smokies. It's just gorgeous. You know, we've been here so many times before, but we have never had this view. It just kind of made you feel like you were somewhere sacred. Thousands of years ago, Native American Indians began to inhabit the valleys of this mountain range, and they named it Shakanahe, which means land of blue smoke, for the soft haze that masks the horizon every morning. Now, Millions of visitors flow in from all over the world to experience the sacredness of this same place. What draws them is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, offering free admission since President Franklin Roosevelt opened it in 1940. Riding on the uh, carriage, as my daughters called it, a princess carriage. It was such a great time. The girls loved it. They were little princesses, I think, on there. And uh, our driver, Amy, did such a great job with, with Mary, even let her take the reins a little bit. And they had such a good time together. You know what? One of the things I remember as a little girl was my grandpa, when we'd come down here, he'd always say, now make sure you look for some bars up far. He would always tell us to look for the bears, so we did. And we actually got to see one on the way up to Cades Cove. When you visit Cades Cove, a beautiful valley, park rangers are there to interpret what it was like here hundreds of years ago. <laughs> but probably the best way to travel back in time is to get off by yourself or with your family and just allow the quiet beauty of the place to sink in. One of the things that we really loved doing as we rode through Cades Cove was to go through some of those old cabins. Wow, can you believe how small it is? They're tiny. When Katie and I went into the cabin there, it really struck me because the area was just incredibly small. And I mentioned to her, I wonder what it would be like to have so many kids in this cabin because they're so small. Cell phones don't really work out here, and if you are quiet for a time, you can almost feel the presence of early Tennessee pioneers going about their daily tasks. If I could pick one set of acres to be in in my home anywhere in the world, that would be it. To just sit there and just reflect, relax. It gets back to that peace that we find in these mountains. In 
Cades Cove, there was a small pioneer village, and one of the park rangers was in a costume. She was doing some things with a dulcimer. You're going to strum with your right hand, and you're going to make the notes with your left hand. Go tell she had six or eight dulcimers that our whole family actually got to play. She told us her husband had actually made the dulcimers. And I thought it was amazing because she started playing a song and it just happened to be Amazing Grace. such a special song to our family in so many ways. And our family just kind of began humming and singing right along with her, and I think she was kind of taken aback by that at first. But it was a really inspirational moment. But now I see. This could easily be a scene from Pigeon Forge in the 1800s because nothing much has changed at this spot. Beginning more than a century ago, this water-powered gristmill on the banks of the Little Pigeon River supplied flour and electricity to Smoky Mountain pioneers. Of course, it's called the Old Mill, but today it's also arguably the best spot for breakfast in all of the Smokies. I think a lot of people that eat at the old mill don't realize that they grind everything there themselves. I mean, the name is the old mill. They mill things there. And it's so fresh when it gets to you. They make corn muffins, they make biscuits, they make, and it's delicious. And I think part of it is they put such care into the creation of it. That's my favorite restaurant in the whole world. I tell everybody that. I said, if you go to Gatlinburger Pigeon Forge, you must eat at the old mill. And to have all the family around the table and sharing together, that was so precious for me. Most places we go, we kind of have to split up or we're one long table. In a round table, you, you can talk to everyone and be a part of that. Especially for my granddaughters, I, I think they seem to enjoy that breakfast about as well as any meal we've had. We also got to go in to see the mill. What was really fascinating to me was that it reminded me of my grandpa's old barn. It was really, really authentic. The gears and pulleys on these one-ton grinding stones still create the meals and flours used in the biscuits, breads, and hush puppies served at the restaurant. And they are only the second set of stones ever used in the mill's history. This mill is 181 years old. It's built uh, way back in 1830. This lever is used to adjust the distance between the stones. It will adjust the coarseness of whatever we're doing. It'll grind a little bit finer. The closer we pull it, the coarser it's going to be. We got to actually see the mill working, and it was um, producing the cornmeal. We were actually able to, to sit there and watch as it was being bagged and tied. There you go. All That's right. a miller's knot. Now we only got like 500 more to go. The rusticness of the place all around was so cool. When the Great Smoky Mountains National Park was set aside in 1934, this remote part of Tennessee began a whole new life. This once sleepy little town of Gatlinburg is now a huge tourist attraction with all kinds of fun things to do. But one of the best is something you'd never expect to be here. It's a world-renowned aquarium. And believe it or not, it's called Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Perched on a piece of choice real estate above Little Pigeon River, Ripley's Aquarium was named the number one aquarium in the country by the world's largest travel website. And just in case you were thinking two-headed sharks or four-eyed octopuses, think again. This aquarium is home to more than 10,000 animals and 30 marine biologists. To see the, the eyes of my grandkids, their eyes were just looking everywhere. Molly was just awed. She was tired, worn out before that, but then she was all eyes when she looked at the fishy, the fishies. One of the most amazing exhibits here is less than two years old. It's a personal encounter with penguins. 
Hi everybody, welcome to Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies and our penguin encounter. This here is Maureen. She's one of our African black-footed penguins. The aquarium was fantastic. I think seeing you know the girls being able to the pet a penguin a was eater. wonderful. These guys here can eat about 20% of their body weight every single day to keep up with the penguins. Uh, Anybody think they can do it? <laughs> our African penguins will lay two eggs. It's what we call a clutch. The males and females will take turns sitting on the eggs. The African black-footed penguin is an endangered species. That means the penguins was just a wonderful experience, and my granddaughter Mary, especially, she she just gets excited about animals. Period. But penguins was just a special treat for her. On a hot summer's day in the Tennessee mountains, what better way to escape the heat than a trip to Dollywood's Splash Country? This adventure water park has something for everyone, depending on how daring you're feeling. And how many water parks have you been to that feature your own little retreat house, Riverside? What I'll remember is Darren and I in the wave pool. The last time I was ever in a wave pool, I was about five or six, and he was about 15 or 16, and it was actually down here in the Smokies. So when I got to do that with him, it brought back a lot of those memories. Next to Smoky Mountain National Park, the biggest attraction to visitors in all of Tennessee is man-made, or should we say, Woman made. It's Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, a destination that's very often beat out other huge theme park rivals as the number one family friendly attraction in the nation. In one area of the theme park, Dolly Parton recreated a little part of her hometown, complete with a 50s diner, cars, stores, and even the music she listened to at the time. The locals around here love their Dolly Parton. How many city halls in the country have a statue of a country singer in their courtyard? Every year, two and a half million people walk through Dollywood. But it doesn't feel crowded because unlike almost every other park in the country, the designers built Dollywood right into the mountainside. Even the thrill rides sort of echo the early industry of the area, like the Mystery Mine roller coaster. I love small roller coasters, but the big ones, <laughs> we don't agree much. Traveling with our adult kids has been a little bit different than what we used to do. Mark and I used to plan everything, and now they have a lot of input. And I know Mark's probably not really into the huge roller coasters like Katie is, but he's a sport and goes on a motor. I have no doubt that the thing they will remember most is dad going on Mystery Mine, a roller coaster. I haven't been on a roller coaster in years and years. And then I said, you dummy. It's too late, I was committed. I couldn't believe he did it. That isn't like him. This trip was different just because we were all together and we did things we'd never done before. My dad doesn't do roller coasters. He just wanted to join in the fun. Most theme parks have some kind of a railroad ride. But the one here at Dollywood feels like you're just catching the 3 o'clock special to a town on the other side of the mountain. All aboard! I grew up loving trains. My, my great-grandfather uh, instilled that in me. He used to give me old, old uh, train magazines. He had worked on the railroad, and we developed a real bond that way. He was the one that was actually the first in our family to come down here. You wouldn't think a bird sanctuary in a theme park would be good company. But more than 20 years ago, Dolly Parton decided otherwise. Right in the heart of the park, she created Eagle Mountain Sanctuary, dedicated to taking care of disabled bald eagles and returning healthy ones to the wild. We want to welcome you to Dollywood. We're glad you're here. Wow, look at that. Well, this is a bald eagle and this is a golden eagle. And I'd like to introduce Karen to you. Okay. My name is Mike. I'm Mike, one thing I've always wondered about, why does Dollywood have eagles here? Why they have the eagles here? Well, 
See, we are, the American Eagle Foundation does rehabilitate and we try to take in sick and injured birds. Now sometimes we can do that if their injuries aren't too severe. They can actually breed and have little uh, chicks and when they have those, we can release their babies back to the wild. Yeah, so we help repopulate the eagles. When the eagles raise its wings, it's almost majestic. Both girls just had stars in their eyes. They love birds. They got to get up close and personal with not just a bald eagle, but a golden eagle as well. And they were just in awe. Mary was just in the midst of her glory as she was standing there with the trainers uh, with those eagles. I wouldn't want to be that close <laughs> myself. As they say around here, down the road a piece in Pigeon Forge, you'll find even more mountain music in the warm-up room of a giant dinner show on steroids called Dixie Stampede. One, two, three. You actually eat your four-course dinner ringside in a huge arena setting. When I was a little girl, I used to watch Dolly Parton on Porter Wagner, and that's always been one of the best things about the Smoky Mountains is the music. My greatest thing here is to have my family with me, and that's what we've had this week, to have all, all 12 of us here, I'm so special. And there, to have us all in a row, eating with our fingers and laughing about it, it was great. It was really great. One of the neatest little secrets of the Smokies is something called the River Romp, right outside Sevierville. It's a tubing adventure on the west point of the Little Pigeon River, which runs through Pigeon Forge and the surrounding area. But what makes this different is that you don't have to drive for an hour to get here. Really just minutes from the amped up attractions of nearby Pigeon Forge, the River Romp offers the peacefulness and scenery of a secluded mountain river. Well, the memories I think I will take mostly from this trip are times that David and Katie and Mark and I have spent together because David just recently moved out into his own apartment. It was such a, a close time for us. I mean, we were having so much fun. They love outdoor type things. And I think just getting in there and being in the woods and then into the water and being in a river like that, it was fun for them. That was Mark and Kathy and David Katie's moment. Yeah, it was. One of the things that we mentioned right as soon as we got out of the river was next time we come back down here, this is gonna be on our list of things to do. In Sevierville, down Apple Valley Road, you'll find the Apple Barn and Cider Mill. From late July through October, this place erupts like Santa's workshop in the production of apple butter, apple fritters, pies, dumplings, apple candy, well, apple stuff. The Apple Barn is really a barn. Built back in 1910, it was renovated 70 years later. And today, it's a cider mill, restaurant, and general store. So when I was at the apple barn today, Katie and I saw the most beautiful apple lamp. And you know, my kindergartners take naps. That'll be the first thing I turn on when they go to sleep. Most of the nights we ate out, but it was good that we could eat in some. Uh, we brought that in and we're able to, to serve it together and ate here together in this, this wonderful place. We had a wonderful dinner. We just had a great time sharing together all in one. And we had plenty of room. Most of the times you're kind of in cramped quarters and you gotta get in each other's way, you know, to go down the hall or whatever. I think the biggest memory was just all 12 of us getting to be together. We come to the Smokies a lot, but it's different groups. It's either me and my parents or one of the brothers. But for all 12 of us to be here for a week and solely focused on each other, we've been here multiple times. But on this trip, we were able to do things that we had never done before and have new experiences together. Somebody steal the apple butter. <laughs> Where is it? We have it over here. Oh, okay. oh my gosh, you got to share. You got to share. Oh, 
Darren had taken all these great pictures. And he told us to come down to the projection room. He was going to have a surprise for us. And we all went down there and saw these wonderful pictures of everything we had done the whole week. That was a highlight because it kind of encapsulated our whole trip. There's people who tell me, I haven't been on a vacation in years. And I say, that's a shame because you have missed the greatest opportunity to talk with your family and your children and rebuild and recharge your relationships. The adult members of this family all spend their lives serving others. But there's something about this time in the Smokies that is so important to them that they've made a lifelong commitment to returning here year after year. The Colgan family would probably tell you that it doesn't really matter where you go for your own reunion and recharging time as long as you make a real commitment to do it. Next year, Peggy and Dave will return here for their 50th wedding anniversary, and they'll probably do every single thing they've done here for years all over again. And that's fine, because it's not about what they do here in the Smoky Mountains of East Tennessee. It's about the priceless rewards they receive from keeping their promise of getting away together. If you'd like to know more about the people, places, and activities featured in this or any other episode of Getting Away Together, log on to gettingawaytogether.com. That's gettingawaytogether.com. Getting Away Together was made possible by... TripAdvisor.com. 50 million reviews and opinions from real travelers. They treated me like a rock star. Even the concierge knew me by name. We could kayak right from our own private dock. It felt like we had the whole island to ourselves. I could almost reach out my window and touch the Eiffel Tower. What an amazing vacation. We can't wait to go back. Fantastic. Millions of reviews of hotels, vacation rentals, and more. All from real people who've been where you want to go. TripAdvisor.com. You've planned your trip for a long time. Wouldn't it be nice to know someone is helping you make it safe and relaxing? For more than 20 years, CSA Travel Protection has been making travel convenient with friendly expert service, giving you security that your travel investment is safe, whatever happens, and the assistance you need from travel delays to emergency care. Before, during, and after your trip, we're CSA Travel Protection. It's about time to experience the beauty, the history, the adventure, the shopping, and the entertainment. Every season entirely new. It's about Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, and Gatlinburg in the Great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. It's more than just a family vacation. It's time to come experience the Smokies.